Alright, Shalom. This is the brother Atazabamia from GMS South Carolina camp. I'm giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Double honest that was a great millstone, taught me this truth. Shalom to the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Um This is basically another lesson getting at this simple ass nigga from the 14th Street Israelite group. Okay. One this guy I'm, I might be speculating, but through the spirit, I believe this nigga got paid off, man. Or he just, he's trying to divert the attention from off himself for him not doing the work. Okay? So, I'm just going to bring these scriptures out because, you know, this guy, he's a, he's a clown, he's a lightweight, and he's a demon. Okay? Alright? He's a demon. And he's trying to come with that another angle, okay? Because you had you had many of these examples of guys that are now receiving judgment. That through the spirit we found we we broke down either some uh, weak ass doctrine they brought out or uh, certain things they said or certain gestures they did that indicate that they were they either sold out. Or they starting to change up the doctrine, either subtly or just directly. So once the spirit revealed that they was going off and they've been thoroughly exposed, they kind of just faded black, or they went under the radar. And now judgment is falling on them. Like for an example, Nathaniel seven and the Israelite united in, in in Christ, which I call the Israelite united in the Antichrist. They are starting to receive judgment starting with their leader Nathaniel 7 he's got he's starting to shake all weird and shit you know he might have Parkinson's but he ain't he ain't as uh you haven't seen him for like months on end then when he finally come back he's like twitching and shit you know then you had Zabak which brothers kind of picked up that he wasn't right whenever he allowed that wicked ass nigga from the Seattle camp when he got kicked out of Bob a ball and to his camp which he was a blatant adulterer okay he accepted him into his camp and you know he should have been beware of that guy but he let him in into his camp that we got next camp and then he ended up committing adultery in that camp you know then it was it later been uh, brought out that Zabak committed adultery so he got exposed. Plus, he was teaching uh, weary doctrines, like about Cornelius, which that's been thoroughly broken down. So he was exposed doctrinally, and then his sins was revealed to the congregation. So he got uh, taken down. Then you had this other nigga, um, Yahana, which it was exposed that he he was coming at the elders, but he tried to come at a more aggressive style, and he was just popping shit. And um, he got cut up in, the, in by the scriptures because he was breaking the scriptures down wrong. And he was getting, uh, when he came out with that doctrine about uh, you can have relations with your woman and, and, and her anus, which is a, the act of sodomy, he was totally finished then. You know, he got thoroughly exposed that he was he sold out and he went off, you know. Now you got this 14th Street Israelite clown, this this simple ass nigga that pop all this shit. And basically his videos now, now he's so fucking zealous, put all these videos up. All his videos is he's shit talking, man. He's a scoffer, okay? But the reason why he's coming at us is like either one, he either sold out, okay? Because he's coming with this whole another spirit. Or two, he's trying to divert the attention off of himself because of the main factor, the reason we started getting on him is because he, he, he wasn't out there and those people that trusted in him that were going to him to be fed with the scriptures, he uh, left them hanging, okay? So I'm going to get some scriptures on that, okay? About what a real man of the Lord does, okay? And what uh, false false prophets like this 14th street Israelite clown does okay people like him okay so let me get John
This is John chapter 21, verse 14. This is now the third time that Yahweh has showed himself to his disciples. Oh, Salaki. Oh, Salaki. Uh, all praises to Yahweh, Shabbat Shah, double on ourselves, a great millstone. Shalom to the Aki Mount, they're pushing the truth. If I miss saying it at the beginning of the lesson, Salaki. Okay. It says, uh, John 21 and 14. This is now the third time that Yahweh has showed himself. To his disciples after that he was risen from the dead so when they had uh, dined Yahweh said to Simon Peter Simon son of Jonas lovest thou me more than these and he said unto him yea Lord thou knowest that I love thee he said unto him feed my lambs okay Verse 16, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay, now who's the sheep? You get these clowns, which that's a whole nother lesson, but you get people on the internet trying to say that the sheep are everybody, but let's see what the scriptures say. This is Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. That's right. So the Lord was sent to the children of Israel, which are the sheep. All right. Matthew 10 and 2. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother. James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. Philip, Barth, Barth uh Thomas, and Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus, and Labeus, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, which are the heathen, and into any of the city of the Samaritans, into ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, so when he was telling Simon back in John 21 and 16, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said, saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Okay, we're going to find out what, what we're supposed to feed the, the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is the elect. Okay, because the Lord sent us out to fish for the elect. All right, verse 17. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay. That's a commandment. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah. 3 and 15 it says I will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding okay where does that come from the scriptures so they will feed the sheep the Lord told Peter to feed the sheep okay his sheep which the sheep will hear his voice okay which are his his is the elect this is uh, John 10 and 25 Yahweh shall answer them them I told you you believe not the works that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me now what's that voice John 18 and 37 Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Yahweh answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. 
To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. So John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice. So those sheep of the house of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, that belong to Yahweh Shai, is talking about the elect. And they will hear what? His voice, which is the truth, which is the gospel. That's what they were sent out to preach, the word, all right, feeding his sheep or the elect with, with, with knowledge and understanding, all right? My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay, for this clown, which that's what he's trying to do, he's trying to uh, pluck those that are given to Yahweh Shai, belong to Yahweh Shai, Shai, which will hear this word, alright, but will not listen to a stranger, okay, he's trying to pull them away. But the Lord said, you can't get those that are his, you damn devil. Okay. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. I mean, they're on the same accord. Okay. So you're supposed to feed the sheep. Okay. What is that on? Get that in first piece. First Peter's chapter five verse one, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shah, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you. Take the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not by not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, which is Yahweh Shai, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Okay? So there it is again. The Lord commanded Peter, and he's leaving the example, because you, you call yourself an elder or a priest. You know, priest, uh, whatever the hell your name is, which is insignificant anyway. But we, we know you as the 14th Street Israelites, okay? There it is. It says, feed, 1 Peter 5 and 2, feed the flock of God which is among you. Now, you had your own so-called congregation or flock that trusted in you, that was going out there weekly to hear you speak and so-called be edified by whatever you're teaching, okay? But... When you when you just stop going out because you said it was it's pointless to go out when it's brisk cold when your fingers uh, are stiff and you can't flip the pages right, okay. When you stop going, you stop feeding the flock. So then your flock came to the elders, and they allowed them to, to be around it for a couple of weeks. But then they eventually, the spirit got on them. They said, Nah, man, y'all have to leave. Then this is when you appeared and start popping your shit, man. And the only reason you popping that shit is because you getting exposed that you a part-time Israelite. You a damn hypocrite, man. You damn phony. You hireling. Okay? That's the commandment. Okay? And the Lord said if you loved him. Get that man. You a fucking clown, man. You want to talk about love. This is 1st John chapter 3 verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And here, hereby we know that we are of the truth and are sure our hearts before him. 
For if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our hearts and know of all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have oh then then have we confidence towards God. Okay. That's right. So you supposed to love and 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 deed and in truth. What's part of deed? Doing the work. If you call yourself a, a priest or a teacher of the word, you supposed to be out there teaching, man. Regardless if it's rain, sleet, or snow, or icy cold. That's a commandment. Okay. Second Timothy's four and one. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Yahweh Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and in his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's the commandment. Okay. Second Timothy's two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah. Mashiach, you're supposed to endure. Why? 2 Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in the Mashiach Yahushai with eternal glory. Okay? So you got endurance. You don't have no endurance. Okay? Because you're a part time lover, man. You're a damn weak ass nigga. And that's why you're getting upset. Okay. Alright. So the Lord told you to feed the flock, man. And this is John. Fourteen, fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandment. And that's a commandment. Okay, to continuously feed the flock of the Most High. Okay, all right, which is the elect, not all, not all Israel. Okay, this is uh, John fourteen twenty one. He that have my commandment and keep of them, he it is that love me, and he that love me all uh, shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him, and that's why. We're um, increasing in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Because we do those things that are pleasing unto him. And that's preaching. Okay. Alright. Because we, we keep that commandment. That commandment was to feed the flock of, of the Lord. Okay. And, and the Lord, he told that to Peter. He was the head. So how much more is does that fall on the rest of us? Okay. I'm not Peter, but he's an example. Okay. He said he loved the Lord. Paul is an example. He said he endured all things for the elect's sake. Okay. You fucking clown. You ain't doing shit because you a damn part-time. You're a hypocrite. And you're a hireling. We're going to get to that. This is John 14, 23. Yeah, how should I answer this?